Hey guys, what's up? D Washington here, 607, with another Blu ray DVD update. Um, a lot of these I picked up from Best Buy, some from Amazon, some from Barnes and Noble, so I'm gonna get right into it here. Uh, first up, Blu ray, we have Robin Williams, one hour photo. Fantastic movie. I haven't seen this movie in a long time, but I remember how much praise Robin Williams got for this role and stuff. So, this is probably just brand new, they just released this not too long on um, Blu ray. Because, yeah, it says from 2013, which I'm glad they did. Because I know I had the um, DVD version, and you can see back there it's got a lot of a lot of special features on there, which makes it even better. So definitely Robin Williams. Up next, Matthew McConaughey in Dallas Buyers Club. Of course, I got a feeling he is going to get the Oscar for this. I definitely think he's going to get this. I think he deserves it. I can relate to you know the AIDS thing. I had an, um, a relative that died from AIDS like in the early 80s, so I can really relate to this, yeah, from Jennifer Garner and Jared Leto, and I think he's going to win the Best Supporting Actor also, so definitely Dallas Buyers Club. Up next, Yo Adrian, we got Sylvester Stallone and Arnold in, what is this, oh, what is it, The Escape Plan, I never saw this in the movies and stuff, so, Yo Adrian, and Arnold, you do the Arnold, so we're definitely going to check this out, and it says here, no one breaks breaks out alone, so we'll see how good it is. Escape plan. Of course, picked up Simon Pegg in the World's End. Yeah, I know everybody's been telling me about this. I've yet to this to see it, see it, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking that one out. I only picked it up. Up next, I haven't taken these out. Got these from Best Buy for seven ninety nine. Nicholas Clay Cage and Lord of War. I remember this was such a good movie back in the day, so definitely. You know, Nicholas needs to do more stuff like this, you know? Then he wouldn't get, you know, get all crazy, all the crazy crap he does. It's, you know, it's like a good actor, you know? You know, you're a good actor. And of course, with the release of the new Robocop, I had to go back and get the old original one, right there, with Peter Weller, Robocop. You can say this is newly remastered. It's got a lot of extras in, in, in on the back there. But definitely, Robocop. Nick, this is a movie that I've been wanting to see. Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, Julianne Moore, Emma Stone, Marisha Tomei, Kevin Bacon, and Crazy Stupid Love. And stuff. I've been dying to look at this. Never had a chance to watch it or get it, so I'm definitely looking forward to looking at that one. Up next, another one that I've been willing to get. Got this for $7.99. Domino, of course, with Kara Knightley, Mickey Rock, and Edgar Ramirez. Definitely looking forward to this Domino. I never got a chance to see it, it'll be my first time, but definitely looking forward to that. Up next, Jason Statham in, in Scythe. Got this for like $7.99 also. And stuff, so Jason usually has good, you know, action movies and stuff. He can be a little bit of a prick in real life, but he's a good action guy. Up next, one of my favorite directors by Drew Barrymore, Whip It. Of course, and it has Ellen Page, who was in Juno. It's got a lot of people. Marsha Gay Harden, who I love, Christine Wiig, True Barrymore, who also directed it, Juliette Lewis, who oh, Jimmy Fallon's in it, that's good, and Daniel Stern, so definitely looking forward to watching that one, whip it. One more. This is um, Woody Harrelson in Rampart, his district, his rules, plays like a corrupt cop and stuff, very good movie, he got a lot of praise, praise for this, at Toronto Spirit Awards and stuff, so definitely great, great. Last ones are DVDs for some TV shows that I really like. I only got my fourth season of The Good Wife. Now I have all of them from season one to season four. Love one of my favorite shows on television. I love, I love, I just love this show. So good, funny, witty, very good. And then I got um, season two for Two Broke Girls. I like Two Broke Girls. It's a silly little quirky comedy, but I love it. I love it, and and uh, I love Cat. Cat Denning, she's just hilarious, so good, I like it. And this is all of the same show here, Simon, oh, uh, what is this, oh, season three of The Mentalist, Simon Baker, another one of my favorite shows, and Robin Tony, Tony or Tony, I'm sure how you say her name, so I have, also have season four of The Mentalist, yeah, actually I'm starting over with, with I'm, I'm, I'm on season two, I'm starting over, I usually do that, I'll buy the thing, I'll start over, this last one I brought at Best Buy, I had it for $19.99, and sees the complete fifth season of The Mentalist.
course the infamous Red Sean knuckles. So yeah, definitely happy with that. So guys, that's it. That's my latest pickups. Please subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.